Grammy award-winning record producer Warren Heward has just revealed his entire vocal chain in his new book, Home Studio Recording The Complete Guide, and today I'm going to share with you how to get this exact vocal chain for under $300. If you're unfamiliar with Warren, he's the CEO and founder of the Produce Like a Pro YouTube channel and has produced many award-winning records for big-name artists such as Aerosmith, Adele, James Blunt, and The Fray, just to name a few. And if you want to check out his book, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. In the book, he states the following. When recording vocals, our favorite signal chain includes a U47 large diaphragm microphone routed through a Neve 1073 preamp and EQ. We also use two sets of compressors, a DBX160 routed into a Universal Audio 1176. First, let's talk about the microphone. I'm assuming that most people don't have $4,000 laying around to buy a new Neumann U47, but the key piece of information here is the actual type of mic he's referring to, which is a large diaphragm condenser. Lucky for us, there are many great sounding affordable options when it comes to condenser mics, and here on the channel my top 3 picks have been the Rode NT1, the Lewitt LCT440 Pure, and the Aston Origin. And since I've reviewed all three, I'll leave the playlist here on the screen in case you want to hear how they sound. Next on the chain, he mentioned the 1073 preamp, but for most of us, we're just using the built-in preamps that come with our audio interfaces, so in order to replicate this exact vocal chain, we are going to be using plug-in emulations, which I'll show you later on the video. For the actual settings, he states the following. In setting the level, we take the gain up to the point of audio distortion, then back off one click, which is negative 5 dB on a 1073 preamp. While high passing may be involved, in general, we try to avoid EQing the vocal when tracking. And I think that the reason for that is because if you EQ a vocal going into the recording, unfortunately, you can undo that in the mixing stage. So the pro tip here is to maybe use a high pass filter to roll off the really low frequencies that you don't need on a vocal, and then leave the rest of the EQing for the mixing mixing stage. Moving on, he mentions two types of compressors, the DBX160 and the Universal Audio 1176. And in the book, he explains that by putting the DBX160 first, you can broadly and evenly control the dynamic content of the vocal, and with the aggressive 1176 to clamp down on the peak signals and add character to the sound. And in this video, he explains that for the settings, he leaves the DBX at a 3 to 1 ratio, and then the 1176 76 a 20 to 1 ratio. It means having two compressors working half as hard as one compressor doing all the work. A big mistake I see beginners make is that they only use one compressor and they crank it up all the way and the problem with that is you're just going to squash the vocal and suck the life out of your recording which is not what you're looking for. By the way if you're learning something new today don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also let me know in the comments what do you think of this vocal chain and what are you currently using to record. So now let me show you some plugins that you can use to replicate the preamp and the compressors and for that we're going to be taking a look at two companies that make these plugins which are Waves and Universal Audio. Waves had recently announced that they were going to switch over their business model to a subscription only service. However, today they announced that they're backtracking that and now they're going to offer both a subscription and you can also purchase the plugins individually and have their perpetual license. The subscription does include the Shep 73 preamp their own version of the DBX160 and the CLA76 collection. You can sign up for free for a 7 day trial and then after that depending which subscription you choose you'll be between $15 or $25 a month. Universal Audio also offers both options. You can either sign up for their subscription service as a 14 day trial and then after that it will be $20 a month or you can choose to purchase each individual plugin as a one time fee. The Spark subscription does include the Neve 1073 and the 1176 compressor collection. However, at the time of shooting this video, I could not find anything in regards to the DBX160. Nevertheless, they do include the LA2A collection, which is my favorite compressor of all time, which does pretty much the same thing and will get you very similar results. So as you can see, it is possible to replicate this exact vocal chain with the four gear as long as you have a good sounding condenser mic and you sign up for one of these subscription services. But if you want to find out Warren's full recommendations to build an entire home studio then make sure to click on this video.